Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. New character for a new level. Level 3, Smooth Sherbert. Start from the beginning, let's go. This is actually like a take 3 or so. I don't even know for sure. Because the day that I was recording the other two parts, I don't know, it's just like I lost all of my commentary spunk. And it's not like I was playing bad. It just that I want, you know, the, qu the quality of the commentary to be as good as it possibly can be. By the way, these are bumpers, in case you can't tell. Yes, I'm hitting these on purpose. They are hard to avoid. You can just jump over them if you want to. And these are spinning, which you don't even have to even try to thread the needle in those things. You can just jump right over them if you want to. I don't even know why I tried to thread the needle, even though it's not really that precise. Anyway. <laughs> And this one is like a slalom, luge, whatever you want to call it. And you gotta get to the end quickly before time runs out. I believe there is a jump somewhere in the middle of the stage. So be on the lookout for that. But otherwise, this stage is pretty uneventful as a whole. I mean, it's just this. <laughs> and you just have to tilt the Wii Remote forward and in the direction of the curve. In this case, it's forward right. And, oh no, this isn't the one that has a jump that I'm thinking of. Um, past the goal here, you see there's bananas over there? I'm not sure, but you might be able to, like, jump the goal if you use a higher jumping character. Or be able to go around it somehow. I, I never really took the time to make note of that. I mean, that, like, <laughs> well, I guess make note of it is something that I could call it, uh, because I never really checked it out. Anyway, this is a platforming one, in case you can't tell. Yeah, you can collect the bananas if you want to on the other pathways of sorts up to that goal. But I just don't feel like it. <laughs> this, uh, like I said, I wasn't playing bad in my first couple of takes. As you see, these stages aren't hard at all to pass on your first try. In fact, I'm messing around quite a bit here, if you can't tell. <laughs> so, that wasn't the issue, it was just a matter of, I want the commentary to be good. <laughs> I will not let a video go by without the commentary being to my satisfaction, ow. <laughs> well, I guess that's entirely subjective because there's people that are like, yeah, your commentary sucks, but oh well. <laughs> I always say my uh, uh, my channel is open to anyone, any, you know, like anyone is welcome here, my style isn't for anyone, or basically. I can take critiques. <laughs> And bonus stage of boringness. I don't even know why I wanted to sound enthusiastic in the slightest. I mean, this is... Oh, uh, you know I'm not a fan of bonus stages. I must love and tolerate the bonus stages, but it's so hard. So very, very hard to. I missed the banana and I'm gonna have to go back around for it, I think. If I want to get a perfect score. It's a lot easier to get the ones on the edges than it is in the, the ones in the middle. I think it's because the, you know, the circle is a little bit tighter. It, uh, well, it's actually a lot tighter in the center. So, there we go. Voila! Not hard at all. Number five! Starts! Oh, this one is uh, fairly interesting in that this is one of the first stages that a beginner might have trouble with because, uh, well, especially if they you know, like never played a, a monkey ball game with jumps before like this one, because you've got these posts that are spinning around and then they could knock you off the edge if you're not careful. You gotta try and pan the camera so you can see where you need to jump and try not to touch those orangish edges there. I think it's orange Kind of hard to tell on this TV, honestly. But anyway, just jump into the goal, I said. Jump into the goal. Yeah, I know, I can get it from behind. I'm just messing around. <laughs> you can get, you can go inside a goal from either end, as you can tell. It's just like the goals in uh, the other Super Monkey Ball games, except that you don't have to cut a goal tape, you just have to jump through a circle. So it's just, it's a versatile goal, essentially. And this one, look out for the trees by paying attention to what's ahead of you. Like that one's on the right, so you go to the left, this one's on the left, you go to the right, there's an opening in the middle, you get the idea. <laughs> there's a bar there, look out for that, I didn't have any trouble getting that whatsoever. Bananas! Oh, Sadly, the bananas are left uncollected. Baby is extremely sad, but we will get by somehow. We will get by. Number seven! <laughs> 
and oh, this is the little snowball level. Um, you'll notice that there's little slots for the snowballs to run down, and they can possibly knock you around like that. <laughs> So you gotta kind of be mindful of your controls as well as dodging the onslaught of balls. So that worked out pretty well, I must say. <laughs> that worked out very well. Woo -hoo. And the last stage. This is going pretty dang fast, I have to say. I think this is the slalom level with the uh, jump in the middle of it. So be on the lookout for that. And I believe you have to jump. I don't think you can just like ride across it. I might try it just for the fun of it to see if you can ride across it with enough speed or something like that on this first run. Whoa, I went a little too fast there and I came to a sharp corner. I caught... Oh! Wait, I, I was supposed to try to not jump that. Ah, freaking reflex, you have failed me. Well, it actually saved me, but still. <laughs> the, the thing was I wanted to experiment. Ah. Uh, can I like... Yeah, maybe you can just skip those gaps like that. So, maybe you don't have to jump on this one at all, just as long as you keep your speed up. Woo! If you didn't go fast on that level, I could see time being fairly tight there, because as you see, I have only 15 seconds left. Unless you want to like, skip some of it by jumping off of edges. That's like a pro tip for you if you'd like to try that, if you got the level memorized. Oh man, I wonder what his weakness is. I'll never figure that one out. Ew. Ew. Anyway, he's got a bunch of snowballs that he's throwing at you from left to right in order like that. You gotta dodge them as well as these bumpers to get over to him. It's not that hard to do. And then when you do get to him, he starts spinning around and he goes in a counterclockwise circle, I believe. So just follow him like that. Don't touch him. He'll knock you right off the edge. Not that hard to do, as you can see. Then he eventually goes over to the center to slow down. And then... Boop. Oh, oh, I said... Sad boop there. <laughs> was it that hard to boop? Apparently, it was that hard to boop. And then we just repeat the cycle. He gets a, a little bit faster as you go, but it only takes three hits, so it's not really that much of an endurance. Mm -hmm. eh. Oh, come on, boop. <laughs> And last one, this of course gonna be the fastest. Wah! And you might have to tilt pretty rapidly. Oh, whoa, 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 don't touch the edge like that. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to go that rapidly. And he's in the center, so he's gonna be slowing down. And... Can I boop for realsies this time on my first shot? No, I can't. Eh, yeah. Played like a pro. But still, ew. What the heck is that thing? It's like some sort of Yeti walrus. It looks very sweaty and itchy and... Mm. Do not hug that thing. It's just, ugh, you might get something. Woo! Although maybe that Yeti walrus guy is a sophisticated Yeti walrus. I mean, he seems to know ballet. No credits! No! Not again! That took too long! And why am I doing so well here? I shouldn't get the second rank. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Yeah, you have to tilt the Wii Remote to select letters. Since this is a retake, I don't remember exactly what I cut out by not showing the other stuff, but there you go. Why did I even bother putting small letters in before? I don't know, but I was really close to my first ranking score there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part.